Hi, I've opened up my idle program, my Python shell, and I want you to do the same thing so that you can follow along with me. Now we're going to, let's make sure that this entire screen fits in the video. There we go. Uh, we're going to be creating a class called school like we saw in the video that you just watched and creating objects of type school. Remember the school had the name of the school and the city it was in and the country it was in and a list of students that attended there. And we called that class school with a capital S. So suppose I wanted to create a variable for the school Cranbrook and I said Cranbrook equals school with a capital S and I gave it the name of the school and the name of the city and the name of the country. Now do this yourself. What do you think is going to happen when I hit enter? Make a prediction, hit enter, see if what happens is what you expected. I hit enter, I get an error. All of this red stuff means error. The last line tells me what type of error it is. It's a name error. The name school isn't defined. I said make this an object of type school and it doesn't have a type school because that isn't one of the built-in classes in Python. I would have to create this. So I'm going to do that right now. I could type in the definition right here in uh, the Python shell, but it's going to be a little bit easier for me if I put it in its own separate module because I'm going to be modifying it several times. So to put stuff in a file that I can save, a module, I'm going to do File, New File. Now let me arrange this over on the left side of the screen so you can see everything I'm doing. Okay, let's make it so that it's about half, halfway. Okay, now to create a class, I do class and the name of the class and a colon to indent it. So this will create a class called school. I'm going to define the init function. Remember every class should have an init function with the underscores at the beginning and the end. So I'm going to do define underscore underscore init underscore underscore and I have to give it a parameter list. What do I want? When I call it, I want to get a name, a city, and a country. But remember, inside a class, I always put self first, then the things that are passed in. So it'll be a name, a city, and a country. Put a colon in to have an indented block for this function. Now, what do I want to do? I want to remember that name for whatever object is here. I want to remember the name Cranbrook for the variable Cranbrook, and the name Detroit for the variable Cranbrook and the name United States for the variable Cranbrook. If I create another school, I want to have separate copies. That means I have to have something that's unique to each self in school. So I do self.name. That creates a variable called name that exists separately for every instance, for every object that's created of type school. What will I give it? I'm going to give it what was passed in, which is just called plain old name. I'll do the same thing with self.city. I'll do the same thing with self.country. And for now, that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to save this. And I'm going to just save it in my unit 3 folder. And I'm going to call it school. Um, and it already exists, yeah, because I was playing around earlier. I want to replace it. Now I'm going to run it. To run something, I either hit function key F5 or I click on run, run module. It runs it. I've run this file. Notice it looks like nothing happened. Well, that's because all I did over there was I created a class. I didn't use the class. Let's put in this Cranbrook statement again. Cranbrook equals school with the name Cranbrook Detroit United States and this time I don't get an error message 
It doesn't show me that anything happened, but something did happen. Suppose I try and print Cranbrook. It says, oh, you've got a school object. All right, it doesn't give me any useful information, but it does tell me Cranbrook is an object of type school. Or I could do type Cranbrook, and it says it is in this class. It's an object of class school in my main program. OK. How can I get to some of the data? I could do Cranbrook or print Cranbrook dot city should give me Detroit. Oh, I typed print wrong. Print parenthesis Cranbrook dot city. And it tells me Detroit. If I do print Cranbrook dot country, gives me United States. What happens if I do print Cranbrook dot self? It says, look, I don't have any attribute called self. Self is something that happens automatically. You don't ever use it by printing out the value. Now let's create another school. Instead of uh, Cranbrook, let's do, um, oh, Hong Kong. And Hong Kong is going to equal a school. And the name is going to be Hong Kong International. And it's going to be in the city, Hong Kong, in the country, China. Now, if I do print Hong Kong dot country, I get China. Cranbrook had a different different value for country than Hong Kong did. Let's go over here and st start getting ready to have a list of students that are associated with this school. If I want something associated with every object in my init, I have to create a variable for it. So I'll do self.students and I'll just, since I don't know who the students are, I'm going to create that as an empty list. I'm going to save this now I'm going to run it. It's rerun. I'm going to have to recreate my objects here because they were created with a previous version. So I'm going to copy and paste my Cranbrook statement. I'm going to copy and paste my Hong Kong statement. And now let's say I print Cranbrook.students and Hong Kong dot students. What's going to happen? I get empty list, empty list. So let's go over here and create a new function. So I'm going to have to indent back to where I'm still inside the class, but defining functions. I'm going to do define add a student. Since I'm inside the class, I always put self first. And then what am I going to pass in? I'm going to pass in the student name. Oops, forgot my colon. Put the colon at the end. It will indent in there. Now I'm going to do self.students dot append student. Whatever was in this list before, I'm going to add one item to it, whatever was passed in as student. So let's save this. Let's run it. And let's go back and recreate our Cranbrook one. I'm going to copy and paste. Copy, paste, run it. And now if I print Cranbrook.students it's an empty list, but if I do Cranbrook dot add a student, uh, let's see, who are some of my students from Cranbrook? I have uh, Samuel, so let's add Samuel here. Now I do print 
cranbrook.students. I get a list with Samuel in it. If I do cranbrook add a student and put in another student, who else goes to cranbrook? Um, let's see, let me look at my list. And we've got Matthew goes there. So let's put Matthew. Now I do print cranbrook.students and I have Samuel and Matthew in there. If I created Hong Kong once again and print Hong Kong students, shouldn't be anybody in it, should there? Because I haven't added any students. Okay, suppose I wanted a nice function over here so that when I printed out an object, it printed nicely. Let's create something called def print. Have to give it a self, and I don't want to give it anything else. So when I call it, I'm not going to pass any parameters in. Because remember, we don't pass self in. We use it in the definition, not when we're calling it. And this is going to print out all the variables in this object. So I'm going to do print the school and put the name of the school is in the city and put in the name of the city and in the country and put in the name of the country. And here are the students. And I'll print out self.students. Okay, so it's putting everything that's defined for this uh, for this particular object, prints it all out. Let's save it. Let's run it. Now I've got a new version of the school module, so I'm going to have to recreate. Let's recreate Cranbrook. Let's add student Samuel. I'm copying and pasting. Oh, I've got to actually run this line. Copy and paste the add Samuel copy and paste the add Matthew and now I want to print it out. If I just do print Cranbrook I get oh it's a school object but if I do Cranbrook dot here's the name of a function I created and I call it with no parameters see print is a function it had one parameter here but I never pass in the self so here I give it no parameters and I get the school Cranbrook is in the city of Detroit in the country United States. Here are the students Samuel and Matthew. Hopefully this has given you some idea of what you can do with classes and objects, functions within the class and uh, variables that you create within the class. This school object is different then the school object you're going to be creating for the programming assignment. It gives you an idea of some of the things you can do. Some of the things are going to be very similar, but for example, we're not going to have an add a student in it, and we're not necessarily going to be passing the same information in. So go ahead and you should be able to take the quiz and do your programming assignment. Remember, this is a group programming assignment. Happy programming!